Hi guys, uh, you probably know what decentralized exchanges are, and uh, maybe maybe you have uh, heard about this phenomenon, but this is a completely new uh, trend that appeared uh, recently, and we need to know more about it, of course. So traditionally, you got used to uh, cryptocurrency exchanges, so you sign up with your email, uh, then you generate a strong password, verify your account and start trading. So you do 2FA um, uh, protection so that your funds are not uh, accessible to anyone else, only to you. So um, decentralized exchanges in general are like that, uh, so similar like that, um, but uh, of course in their uh, technology they're they're quite different so in most cases uh, the, there is no depositing or withdrawing crypto from uh, decentralized exchanges because you trade directly from your wa wallet so mm, the wallets trade between themselves so users trade with users and this is the main mm, the main difference uh, opposite to centralized ones so no third party in decentralized exchanges so let's uh, uh, let's dwell upon um, this phenomenon this technological phenomenon that changed the industry so traditionally uh, we trade used to trade these years with bitcoin with ethereum all the main uh, cryptocurrencies but uh, those uh, those this centralized exchanges have dominated in the field and we got accustomed to them so they they took the most uh, share of the market and they uh, and they're quite growing uh, in the recent years so uh, we now faced a new phenomenon as i said as the centralized exchanges and in theory this is just peer to peer swapping and um, this uh, consists of decentralized trade, uh, as I said, between uh, wallets directly between users. And uh, this is quite this is quite a new trend uh, that appeared recently. So the key difference is uh, their back uh, their backend exists on blockchain themselves, not on the website, but on blockchain. So uh, decentralized exchanges are applications in their nature that go uh, and operate above a blockchain but the backend not on the website not on the server but in blockchain uh, uh, itself so um, how does how does it work let's have a look at it so in centralized exchange you deposit your money so you give your money to another wallet from your wallet to uh, to exchange wallet, uh, whether it is a fiat money or crypt any other cryptocurrency. When you deposit um, crypto, you give the control of it and uh, uh, you are not uh, in control anymore. So you do operations on the website. You just see uh, numbers, uh, you just see figures and you don't control the money yourself like like in the bank uh, when you have your bank application on, on your phone or on your desktop computer you don't control uh, you you are not controlling it you just uh, see uh, the numbers uh, so you don't own private keys of that uh, wallet where your money is deposited uh, so your funds are not under control so only the third party the, the centralized exchange um, uh, has control of it so this is um, uh, uh, of course this is a disadvantage but advantage is if you lose your access you have the support uh, you have um, somebody who will restore your access uh, to your uh, identity to your email to your uh, documents if you have passed uh, over uh, know your customer procedure uh, so you are authorized and that can be rest restored uh, but decentralized exchanges do not have such procedures, so they are quite similar as centralized in terms of operations. We're just swapping something for something, so swapping uh, tokens, altcoins, whatever, uh, and uh, do our operations. So, but the, the centralized exchange do not have 
uh, your private keys only you are in the control of your uh, of, of, of your money so um, this is the common uh, the common thing but the technology so the back end is different because there is no back end in decentralized exchanges it's uh, as i said only in blockchain in and it operates directly uh, directly uh, through your uh, through your funds so let's have a look if i share my screen uh, let's have a look uh, where to uh, to find those exchanges and how to operate with them that will be a short uh, short video we are not going to uh, to be uh, to have too long conversation about it we just we can go to defypulse.com this is the simplest and the easiest way to uh, to explore the centralized exchanges in short the, these are called dexes you go to dexes tab on that website and you see the rating the uh, the list of decentralized exchanges the first one and the most uh, famous one is uh, uniswap Curve Finance is um, uh, is getting is getting on it. is uh, It's the second place, but it can get, it can be the leader soon. Uh, you dive in into the description and read what uh, it is. So this is the description. You can read it. You can um, uh, you can analyze it uh, thoughtfully and use the link in um, in DeFi Pulse so that to avoid phishing link. You dive in into Uniswap decentralized exchange. You can read the information, of course, uh, thoughtfully and uh, without any rush. So, and uh, you can dive in uh, the app itself after you get uh, get to know all the information, and you see a simple interface that allows us to trade. First of all, uh, you need to connect your wallet, and then uh, do uh, uh, do all the operations. So you go to, for example, Wallet Connect uh, and your wallet is connected. After that, you can see your balances, though the wallet is connected. So you don't send uh, the funds to, uh, to the exchange. You trade directly from your wallet. So that's the key difference that uh, we need to understand. And uh, uh, then we choose the token we want to, we want to trade and do the trading, for example, uh, do some trading, swapping. Uh, of course, uh, this is all protected. Since you take the control, you, when you uh, click on swap operation, you need to confirm in your wallet. Uh, so this is another topic uh, uh, regarding wallets, but you confirm on your mobile wallet, uh, which is non-custodial most likely, and you need to confirm confirm the swap, uh, all the other operations here. So this is Uniswap. Uh, you can go further on if we go back to um, uh, back to DeFi Pulse, we can see other exchanges. So in the Explore, Curve Finance. Curve Finance is a very uh, is a very special and interesting interesting decentralized exchange. It uh, uh, it is based on Ethereum, as all the all the list in this um, uh, in this DeFi Pulse, and you you uh, can read the about uh, the information about curve finance so this is uh, the exchange based on ethereum uh, so and mostly it trades with stable coins of course you go uh, through the link here uh, or i have opened uh, this link and you see mm, a special uh, design which is uh, which is specific to uh, early late 90s uh, last century uh, interface with um, uh, Windows early Windows interface which we had uh, uh, previously. Uh, then you go to trading uh, to trading section and exchange the tokens, so the stable coins uh, wrapped BTC. Uh, th those are synthesized bitcoins and stable coins and you can exchange between them. Of course, you connect your wallet like I showed you before on Uniswap so that uh, your wallet is directly visible. 
Uh, what else I can show you besides um, the list of um, those tokens? I can give you I can give you another interesting service, and uh, this is called One Inch One Inch dot Exchange. So this is the aggregator, uh, the best uh, aggregator uh, that exists on the market. Of course, first of all, you connect your wallet as usual. And then you dive in to trading. So I do uh, connect my wallet. So I, I accept the terms, uh, uh, connect through Wallet Connect service or any other service uh, which is available on your, uh, on your uh, uh, wallet and do, uh, uh, do the trading here. So in this wallet, I have no transaction history. But um, uh, I can do uh, I can do uh, any other uh, exchange operations and trading. For example, if I want to uh, exchange one Ethereum for for Dai stablecoin, so this is uh, this is the list, and I can see the best rates the best rates available for this trading pair. So Ethereum Dai stablecoin. Uh, so um, uh, one inch offers the best one on the market, so you see it's equal to one uh, to that of Uniswap, so that you could perform the actions on on this uh, on this service on this aggregator. So this is the best you can choose. Uh, this is quite simple to click and to and to go to go through uh, the services. So all the other offers in all the exchanges are uh, visible here and you can see uh, the pros and cons uh, of, of each of each service in uh, related to this trading pair. So that's interesting an interesting thing. Another thing that I haven't shown you yet but uh, I think um, I think it's a good uh, it's a good uh, reason to show it to you is a Binance DAX. So Binance is a centralized exchange, but they're going and they're developing their services um, you know, for uh, decentralized ones. So Binance chain exchange is very interesting and uh, it looks more like a traditional exchange with all the pools and all the prices. You can, you can set up the order uh, here, connect your wallet, of course, but here they, um, uh, they call it unlock. You scan your uh, wallet on your mobile device, for example, uh, and start trading. So this is uh, uh, this is in, you you set the order you uh, set the limitations so the uh, the price and you can see uh, you can see all the offers uh, all the offers here so it's more like a traditional interface that we got accustomed to on uh, centralized exchanges so uh, these are decentralized exchanges in brief. So if you have any questions, you can uh, write the comments under this video. It would be good if you like and subscribe to our channel to get to know more about uh, practical and theoretical part of uh, the decentralized market in general. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.